When the U.S. Census Bureau wants to figure out how much Americans are earning, they do a survey of households. Some households only have one person, some have a lot of people. They try to collect information from a representative sample of all households in the U.S. Next, they ask how much money everyone in the household earns all together in one year. This is called their annual or yearly household income. The screen is getting pretty crowded, so let's remove some of the households. Next, the Census Bureau lines up the households from lowest to highest income until it looks something like this. Finally, the Census Bureau divides them into five equally sized groups. Each group has the same number of households in it, not necessarily the same number of people. In this example, each group has two households in it. Each group is called a quintile or a fifth because they represent one-fifth of all U.S. households. The Census Bureau usually calls them the lowest, second, third, fourth, and highest fifth. But we might also use terms like the poorest quintile, the lower middle, the middle, the middle upper, and the richest.